Welcome to the tutorial video for how to configure the Services Hub on-demand assessment for Windows Client. In this video, you'll learn the prerequisites to setting up the assessment, the requirements for the user account and settings used to do the setup, then step-by-step -step instructions for completing the setup. And finally, you'll see how to view and analyze the results of the assessment. If you haven't already, you'll need to install and configure the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on a data collection server in your environment. You can watch a short tutorial video at the link displayed here. To get started with the Windows Client On-Demand Assessment Setup, you first need a domain user account that is a member of the Local Administrators Group on all clients in the environment, and a member of the Local Administrators Group of the Data Collection Machine, and unrestricted network access from the Data Collection Machine to all the clients. Next, enable PowerShell Remoting on all client machines that you wish to assess. Finally, use gpedit.msc to set the policy Do Not Forcefully Unload the User Registry at Logoff to Enabled, and also enable Remote Event Log Management through GPO. Now, to begin configuring the Windows Client On-Demand Assessment, you will launch a PowerShell prompt by right-clicking and choosing Run as Administrator. Before you run the commandlets for the Windows Client Assessment, you need a working directory for your assessments. You simply need a directory and the path to that directory to reference in the commands. This directory will be on the C drive with the name Assessments. Now, in the PowerShell commandlet, you enter the command as add windows client assessment task. Halfway through typing the command, you can click Tab, and if you see the line Autocomplete, you'll know that the agent modules have loaded successfully. Next, enter a space and then a dash, then press Tab again to show target names, the next input parameter needed. Now, within double quotes, enter the names of up to 40 Windows clients that you wish to assess, separated by semicolons. If you need to run the assessment on more than 40 clients, it's recommended to repeat the PowerShell command multiple times in batches of 40. For the next input, press a space, then a dash, to bring up the target domain input. Enter the client domain name in double quotes. Repeat this process to bring up the working directory input. Here, input the path to your working directory in double quotes. Here, you will need to enter your domain credentials and then password, and then hit enter. Now it is safe to close the PowerShell window. Next, open the Task Scheduler. By default, the Windows Client Assessment will kick off one hour after running the PowerShell commandlet. For this example, you'll do a manual run of the task so as to avoid conflicts, so you need to change the task to run at a later date. Navigate the menu to Windows Client Assessment. Right-click on the task, then choose Properties, and then go into Triggers and edit the default trigger to a later time, in this case, later next week. Then enter the account information used to execute this task. Now right-click on the task and choose Run. Once this is done, open the working directory and go into Windows Client, then the Numbered folder. Within a few minutes, you'll see files begin populating this folder. To ensure everything is set up correctly, navigate to the Data Model folder. Here you should see registry folders for each client entered in the PowerShell commandlet. When everything looks good here, go back and open up the Logs folder and double-click the logs file. If there are no exception errors, the assessment ran as expected. If there are any exceptions, look to verify if the error involves expected issues like retired server names. From this point, wait three or four hours, then you should see the initial results of the assessment in the Azure Log Analytics dashboard. You will see recommendations made by the assessment in your dashboard. To analyze the results and recommendations, you can click on the Windows Client Assessment and see all of your recommendations. Clicking on a given recommendation will show you the specific issues that prompted this recommendation, the affected clients, and recommended actions for those servers. You also see the impact of the issues on your environment, the probability of this issue occurring, and the effort required to address this issue. This concludes the tutorial video on how to configure the Services Hub on-demand assessment for Windows Client.